Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm very glad that you did. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made all of this foliage, all this greenery and stuff. Uh, it's very relaxing here. Okay, I'm gonna get straight into the tutorial. For the beginning of this tutorial, we're not actually gonna start in Roblox Studio. Instead, I'm gonna start in a drawing program. I'm gonna be using Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint is free, so instead, you can use Photopea. No download, and it's completely free. It's browser, so I'll leave a link in the description for Photopea. But again, I'll just be using Clip Studio Paint because I like that. And it's not that different. Now, first, we're gonna need to do is just get like your plant. Maybe something like this. Okay, that, let's just use this. I don't know how good this will look, but we'll, I'll just do it anyways for this tutorial. So, just get something like this. I used a brush that I have from Clip Studio Paint. If you wanna get something like this, try to find it in Google Images, I guess. Like, this is a pretty good one. I looked up stylized plant transparency to PNG on Google Images, and I got something like this. So, let's also use this as well. Okay, in Photopea, we're just gonna obviously delete its background. We want it transparent. Transparent. Okay, there you go. I changed up the colors a bit so I can just adjust it on my own Roblox studio. But yeah, something like this. Before you upload this, there's something you gotta do. Get the eraser tool and then just like lower its hardness. Erase the bottom part like this. Just fade it in. You have to do this. Just trust me on this. Because if you don't, then you're just gonna have like some texture showing at the very tip of your plant. Just trust me on this. Just erase the bottom part like this. Now, when you're done, just export it and save it as a PNG. All right, now we use Blender. Just know I'm using Blender 2.9 in old version, but it doesn't matter what version you have. I don't think it'll be that different. Anyways, now just get a plane mesh right here and let's upload our plant image. So just go to UV edit. Thing. And then click over here, this open button and open up our plant image. I'll just do the Clip Studio Paint one and then I'll do the other version later. Now let's put the actual texture onto our plane. Click on the red circle, new, and then click on this yellow circle, image texture, and then click on this thing right here and just open up the plant thing that we just did. Now in order to see it, click on this arrow right here and then just click texture. There you go. There's our texture. I know all this may seem like torture and it just takes too long, but the end result is actually worth it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Now, what I do is just spam this plane around. So like I want it to look like a plant right now. It just looks like a flat thing. So I'm just going to duplicate this thing around and just try to get a plant shape. And also what I'm going to do, click this arrow right here and then click on face orientation. Now you can see it's blue on this side, but on the other side it's red. So as you're duplicating this, make sure all the blues is facing one side and all the reds are facing the other side. So like basically, if you're going to be duplicating and rotating, don't make it so it's like this. It's red and blue. No, just have it so it's always the same blue side and always the same red side. Keep that in mind. So anyways, let's continue spamming duplicates. All right, so this is how mine looks like with the red and blue sides or whatever, but yeah, this is it. I'm actually gonna turn it off. So click on this arrow right here and then face orientation. Don't need it anymore. And honestly, I don't know why I even chose this plant. Um, I don't know what this plant texture even is. Uh, it doesn't really look like a, a, a bush or plant or whatever, but you get it, you get it. You're following the tutorial, so it still works. Now, what I'm gonna do is just one more secret thing that I do. Click on add, mesh, and then plane. And then what I'm gonna do is select our plant, click on this wrench icon, click add modifier, data transfer, click this eyedropper, and then click on the plane over here and then click this square next to face corner data and the arrow next to it custom normals and then what we have to do is click on this green triangle and then check this on if it isn't already now what this does is just flattens it so like if i turn it off this is how it was before and this is it now it just flattens it which i just i just like more because i don't like these little shadows that are around it's annoying this is better so now what we're going to do is click on the wrench icon again look at this arrow and then apply now we can delete this plane and then now we can export this and upload it into Roblox Studio. So file, export, and I'll do FBX. Before I actually go into Roblox Studio, I'm going to do the other plant very quickly. There you go. Honestly, this one looks better than the Eclipse Studio Paint one, which is crazy. And I got this one from Google Images. So, okay, let's export this one now. Ah, this build is beautiful. Just look at all the... Uh, oh, what are you... Who, why are you here? Uh, I don't know. I was just wandering around. Well, get out of here. I'm recording a YouTube video. Oh. Mm, yeah. Okay, thank you for leaving. Can we just get back to the video, please? Get back to the tutorial. Okay, back in Roblox Studio. Just click import 3D and then open up the two plant things that we made. All right, these are both the plants. They both look different. I'll be showing you how to fix it. Let's start with this one. So what we're going to do is just click on the plane and then go to properties and then copy its texture ID, click the plus next to the plane, and then just put in a surface appearance, and then go to the surface appearance properties, and then just paste what we just copied to color map, and then just let it load, let it load, let it load. There you go, there's our texture, but we wanna get rid of the background. 
in order to do that change overlay to transparency okay yeah there you go one more thing if your plant textures have like annoying black outline on them you gotta use pixel fix i'll leave a download link of pixel fix in the description below anyways to fix the black outlines in your textures all you gotta do is just drag your texture to the pixel flex app the pop-up will show just wait till it says you can get out of the pop-up i know this thing looks kind of scary it looks like it'll probably give you a virus but trust me it doesn't it's completely fine i hope so it's fine no it's fine all right there and now i can get out press any key to exit so i press anything and then boom and then just re-upload the texture so like this is how it was before and then this is how it is after it just gets rid of the black outlines if you want to keep the black outlines and then just then just skip that but I don't really want them, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh, and lastly, check double-sided so the back side will also show. So that's that bush done. Let me do the same with this one now. And then boom, there's our plants. There's our bushes. I can now use them in my map. Like boom, look at that. Oh, that's so good. That is so nice. Look at that. And then I'm going to put the other bush like right over here. Ooh, look at that. I like that. There you go. There you go. As simple as that. That's how I make my foliage. It's so easy and nice looking. All right, now I'm going to be showing you how people make those trees. You know, those specific stylized trees. I'm going to actually start out in Clip Studio Paint. I also show how to do it in Photopea later in the video. Just keep watching, please. I'm just going to use this leaf brush that I have and try to get my, my leaf texture. Okay, maybe this will look interesting. I don't know. Sometimes I just do something random and hopefully it will look good. Who knows? Anyways, let's just make this completely white and have a transparent background. Now let's save this. Also, if you don't know how to make something like this, I'll show an easier way, I guess. In Photopea, just get the lasso tool. Just right click this right lasso tool and then just make like like leaf shapes. I'm holding down shift right now and I'm just making like shapes of a leaf. You know, I'm going really fast right now. I'm just going as fast as I can. Get all of them selected. Remember, hold shift while doing it and then just get a brush and then just fill it all in and then once you're done with your leaf texture make this like uncheck the background so it's transparent select your leaf layer hold Control u and then just make the lightness all the way up so it's white you want it white you want your leaves to be white not green white remember that okay oh and also you can make it slightly blurred to get it fluffy looking so just go to filter blur gaussian blur and then just make it a bit blurry not too much and again for photopea it's the same thing filter blur gauge and blur again this makes it more fluffy looking your trees okay back in blender delete everything from there i don't want it now we're gonna do the same thing in getting the plane and getting a texture on the plane uv editing click this open button here and get your texture red circle new yellow circle image this button the texture this arrow texture all that we're just gonna spam this and get a bush shape because it's flat right now also yeah again i'm gonna click this arrow face orientation and then try to get like the blue and red sides Also, this part is important. I feel like most people miss this. Just keep rotating like the, the bush and make sure it's an overall shape of a circle. Like over here, it's not really circular-ish. So I'm just gonna select this part, maybe push it out so it's like this. Select this part, maybe push it out like this. Now it's more like oval or circular or like. Okay, there's my bush. This is how it looks like. Okay, it was really quickly done. Now there's two different ways where you change the normals. It just depends on what you want. So we have this plane. We're gonna do the same thing like we did earlier. So select your bush. The wrench icon, add modifier, data transfer, eye drop, select the plane, this plane, the button right here, arrow, custom normals, this green triangle, normals, and then check auto smooth. And then boom, it's flat. Now this is one thing you can do. Another way is, I'm just gonna duplicate this. Another way you can do it is instead of a plane, just delete this, we use a sphere. So get okay, add mesh UV sphere. Now just put the sphere within it like this. Click on the bush, click on add modifier, data transfer, eye drop, and then select the sphere. And then this button right here, arrow, and then custom normals. And then this green thing right here, and then make sure it's on. Now I'm just gonna go back to the wrench and then apply the data transfer modifier. Now boom, you have two different ways of getting your your like normal shadows. Now just put both of this in Roblox Studio and it will look different. And then just you decide which one you wanna use. Again, go back to Roblox Studio and click on import 3D and open up our bushes or our leaves. And again, they look weird. We have to do the same thing that we did earlier when we fixed these ones. Go to its properties, copy its texture ID, plus thing next to it, surface. Oh, oh, sir. oh my God, not sir. Surface appearance. Select the surface appearance properties. Go ahead and paste it in color map. 
and then overlay to transparency. You get it, right? Please say you get it now. <laughs> and then boom, you can see how different it looks. This one, I didn't show in the recording, but it was just another plane mesh, but it was a tilted plane mesh. It's not that interesting. Anyways, now before we continue further, let's get our tree trunk. So what we're going to do is go to edit references and then click on add-ons and just search up sapling. And then you can just check it on if it isn't on for you. Also, again, I'm using Blender 2.9. So I don't know if anything is different, but I'm using this one. Now that you got your saplings turned on, we're actually going to go to add and then a curve and then saplings tree gen select that now i'm going to show you the settings and to get something good because this is this is just a mess so what we're going to do is within geometry click on load preset and then japanese maple now we're going to just change this up a bit more so switch from geometry to branch splitting now what we're going to do is just put levels to one and then we're just going to lower down the top one over here 16 and then you want the lower it is the less laggy your tree will be now what we can do is just over here split angle the 15 one lower it down to bring the like the branches a bit closer because i just want that one thing i want to change is the size of the tree so what i'm going to do is go to branch radius and then i'm going to make the root flare a bit thicker so the the root is just bigger and then i'm going to make the radius scale a bit bigger so the overall tree is just thicker and then there you go. You can use something like this. This is pretty good. Oh, and lastly, just within geometry, lower down the curve resolution a bit. So it's also less laggy. Okay, that's my tree trunk. Now this is a curve. You have to make it an actual mesh. So select it, go to object, convert to, and then mesh. Now it's an actual mesh. Now let's actually texture paint this. We'll just do something simple. So just click on UV editing, click on image, new, and then I'm going to just put the star symbol and then two, which means multiply the textures by two. And then just name this uh, trunk texture let's just get the base of our trunk color now what we do is press on the red circle new yellow circle image this button and then the tree trunk so this is what we have so far not very good we have to actually make this look better what we can do first actually unwrap go to wireframe and then just select this bottom part right here go to an angle where it's like you're probably going to paint on and then press u and then project from view and you can just make this big right here in the corner and then what we can do is go to select invert and then again go to this top view right here and then project from view and then i'm going to make this on this side of the uv now there you go i basically just said project from view of just the tree trunk and then the actual branches again probably a better way but for this tutorial let's just do this now you can go to texture paint what i'm going to do is click on this button right here and then flat so i just get it flat and then what i just do then is click on this and then enable cavity so i can see the angles we got to get a brush texture so click on this right here new open i like using the square brush texture i'll leave a, a link in the description of it click this button right here scroll down texture and click tiled and change it to view plane change fall off to this constant button and now if i like just paint there you go you can see it's painting now we get to texture painting this part there's no really explanation just do it you just texture paint now so enjoy the time lapse maybe And then there you go. Boom. Look at that. That actually looks fire. That looks so good. Now make sure that you save this image and then save it. Now I'm just going to go to layout, click on this arrow right here and then texture. And it, it, this is how it looks like. Like, uh, it's not really good looking. So what we can do is I'm just going to duplicate this, duplicate it, and then click on add mesh plane. And we're going to do the same thing. Just flatten it. So we're going to click on this, the wrench icon, add modifier, data transfer, eyedropper, the plane, this button, this button, custom normals, green triangle, normals check auto smooth now we're going to upload both both the non uh, uh data transferred version and the data transferred version and we're just going to see which one we like more so let's upload them in roblox studio now so import 3d so again this is the non flatted version with the data transfer and this is the flatted version so you can just determine which one you like more honestly this one's looking way better so i'm just going to use this one one last tip you can just bring in the texture within photopea and edit from there like, for example, I want more contrast, so I'm just going to boost up the contrast here. So like that, boom, I made it brighter and just made it so like it's just more higher in contrast. And boom, there it is re-uploaded, just brighter and just better in contrast. And look at that. Look at that texture. We put our leaves on it. Oh, yeah. If you want to change the color of them, just go to the surface appearance properties and then change the color right here. Now we just put this on the tree. There you go. I added the leaves on the tree. We got a tree texture. Nice looking. Now that for the secret ingredient, the secret step is adding in lights to it. Light points part here and just add a light point to it. So just click on the plus next to the part and look up the light point. 
or point lane is what it's called, I guess. You can change the settings by clicking on it and then going to its properties. I'm just going to use the F3X plugin because I just like that more. We had two lights, one within here within shadow and one above it. So within the inside one, I'll just do like a bluish kind of color, almost purplish, light blue, whatever, this kind of color within the inside shadow. Now for above, you do the color of the leaves and make it pretty bright. There's your tree. That looks so good. I can also put it in my map. I mean, look at that. That's so good. Oh my god, that's actually way better than I expected. Now my map is complete. That looks so nice. I love that. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing or at least leave a like. If you have any questions, tell me them in the comments and I'll try to respond. And that's it. Bye!